Welcome to Sunday School for Sunday, January 28th, 2024 for our junior high students ages 12 to 14. I do not own the rights to this music. The title of today's story, Finding Help. Derek and his mother were sitting on the couch watching TV when the front door opened slowly. Boy, what are you doing here? Derek asked. Tank, the two-year-old little boy that moved into their neighborhood a few weeks ago. Behind him was his five-year-old brother, Cameron. I told him to knock, Cameron said. Derek's mother looked at the clock. Does your mother know where you are? She's not home. She's not home? Derek's mother repeated. No, I don't know where she went. Derek started to shake his head, but Tank had already jumped on him to horseplay. Derek picked the boy up to pretend, body slam him, but his diaper was soaking wet. This just makes me so mad, Derek said. He is wet, and I bet they're hungry. Yes, I'm hungry, Cameron responded. Derek could feel his blood boiling. He was so angry. What kind of mother leaves her kids outside playing while she is only God knows where? Just the other day, he walked the boys to their house because they were playing in the middle of the street. Their mother had answered the door looking like he'd awakened her. Derek, feed the boys, then give them a bath and wash their clothes. There are some diapers in the garage that I plan to donate to the church's nursery. I think he can fit them. I'm going to go see if their mom's home. If she isn't, you need to call the police. I hope it doesn't come to that, Derek's mother said. Maybe she just needs someone to babysit the boys while she works. First, I'll ask her to tell me her real situation. Then we'll see what the next step is. The memory verse for today's lesson is Luke chapter 16, verse 10. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. And that's Luke chapter 16, verse 10. Our lesson scripture is Luke 16, verses 19 through 31. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried, and in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame." But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things? But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that will come from thence. Then he said, I pray thee, Therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house, for I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses, and... The prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Compassion for the poor. Many people's attitudes and behaviors are motivated by selfishness. Selfishness blinds Christians to the needs of others. It, wouldn't have, it would not have taken much 
for the rich man to bless the beggar outside of his door. Lazarus would have been satisfied with the crumbs from his table. But the rich man was too selfish to oblige. When he died, all he wanted was for Lazarus to cool his tongue with a drop of water from his fingertip. Lazarus was probably willing, but could not help the rich man because of the gap between them. How to be compassionate. Number one, consider how you feel about the poor. Number two, talk to an adult about how you feel. Number three, pray to God for help to become more compassionate for the less fortunate. Number four, look for opportunities to volunteer or serve people who are poor. Compassion and Generosity at the Gate Today's lesson is a perfect example of the adage, money can't buy everything. In it, we find a rich man that had every earthly pleasure he desired, but he didn't share it with Lazarus, the sick, poor beggar at his gate. His, flat, his selfishness on earth caused him to miss heaven. He begged for compassion while he suffered in Hades. But Lazarus was unable to help because of the great gulf between them. In the story today, we find Derek's mother showing compassion to two boys who need it. Helping others. This week's lesson challenges selfishness. Do your best to show compassion to a less fortunate group. Identify, identify a population to serve and come up with ways to meet its needs. Some ideas include packing lunch for a panhandler, playing board games with elderly residents at an assisted living facility, and collecting toiletries for a children's homeless shelter. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.